Welcome back, hunters, to another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. I hope you enjoyed that little cinematic at the beginning there. I just wanted to show a little bit of what's going on in the storyline. It really wasn't a great fight in that part, but it was really cool seeing Mephistophelin. I think that's how you pronounce that monster's name. Uh, we're getting very close to, I guess, fighting him, I think, in the storyline, so I'll, I'll hopefully showcase that later on. For this episode, we're going to be fighting the Lytenna. It's a brand new monster that was added to Monster Hunter Online. I've never fought it before. I haven't seen anything about the monster except how it looks. And we're just going to go and try our best to defeat it. So wish me luck, guys. Let's get hunting. Alright, so we are in the same map that we fought Rathian, Rathlos in. I forgot to mention, this is the Elite version, not the Story Mode version, so as we all know, in this game, Elite version of the monsters are very dangerous, very difficult to fight. I'm really expecting it to be the same exact way when fighting the Lytenna. Some of you have been asking to see a different weapon as well, and I do want to unlock some new weapons. The only thing is that I need to unlock their special attacks and abilities, so I'm going to start doing that. I was looking at some of the long swords to, to hopefully do an episode with that in the future, uh, but for now, it's still just going to be using the gun lance. I also want to get new armor since now that... HR5 and I believe HR6 has been unlocked. Uh, some of the new monsters that have been added, I believe, will have better armor and weapons. So that is the hope anyway. <laughs> Where is the Lightenna? <laughs> I'm trying to find it and I haven't had much luck. I'm going to see if it's in zone one. All right, so we've discovered the Lightenna. And <laughs> wow, it actually looks really, uh, it looks like a giant beetle. <laughs> And of course, I get zapped right at the beginning. Thank you. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, so it looks like it has some projectile attacks. I mean, most monsters do, but... Whoa. Almost walked right into that. Now, this is going to be uh, a bit troublesome. I'm not sure if going gun lance was probably the best idea for this fight. Alright, so uh, there's a few moves right there. It looks like it has a charge projectile shot after it lunges towards you. It's really fast. Very, very fast. Okay, I'm, uh, am I going to be able to hit it? <laughs> oh, yep, that uh, definitely blasted me. Wow, I am just not having the best of luck, and uh, there goes Lightenna. Alright, so, uh, yeah, time to go find it again. Now, as you can see, I still have a debuff that's uh, going off in two seconds here. Okay, never mind, it's back on. So, uh, the debuff, I'm assuming probably either increases... It's probably like Lightning Affinity debuff, where I'll get more damage from Lightning Attacks. I guess that's the equivalent of its tail swipe, but it has a big radius. How am I supposed to hit this thing? This... <laughs> this thing attacks so fast and has such a wide radius with his, its spin attack. Again, questioning whether or not I should be using the gun lance in this fight. I'm assuming a, a gunner type class would probably be for the best in this battle. It shoots out these purple orbs that kind of stay in place. It looks like they also shoot at you as well. It's great! It's 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 awesome! I'm loving this! <laughs> now don't get me wrong guys, I really like the model of the Lytenna, it looks amazing. It's probably hard to see with all the fast movement, but the body of... <laughs> I am not doing well. The body of the Lightenna has this really cool pearlescent color scheme going on with it, where it transitions between colors and the way the light reflects off it is really neat. Oh my god, how... <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna, I'm gonna properly fight this thing. Let's see if I can land my Wyvern's Fire. Of course not. It is so fast. This is... 
one of the quickest monsters that I've ever fought before in any Monster Hunter game. And not only that, it's aerial. It's mostly aerial. I don't know if it has, um, I guess, a negative affinity to flash bombs or um, the sonic bombs, but I didn't bring... Well, I brought the flash bombs, but knowing... Look, just looking at the monster right now, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that flash bombs are probably very ineffective against this thing. I may, com I may be completely wrong, but I'm just basing it off the fact that it's shooting giant lightning beams at my character. Oh boy. Helix is not doing well. Helix, Helix is not doing well at all. Okay. <laughs> I really gotta learn. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you, bugs. This- Oh my god! <laughs> this fight is the worst thing ever! <laughs> this is literally my hell right now. <laughs> I'm actually trying to think, what if I had gone with a longsword? How exactly... Would I be even able to hit it while it's in in the air like this? Aha! I'm gonna use my alt and I honestly thought I had set it up to be the flamethrower alt, but I guess I must have set it up incorrectly. My bad. Yes, let's just give it more moves. That's that's great. I love it. And I think now it's enraged. Okay, so it looks like I can block that move and then... Oh, come on! I only managed to hit it with one part of my Wyvern's Fire. Okay, so, managed to knock it down for... A moment there! Oh, oh my god, I... Where are my openings in this battle? He's probably one of the smallest monsters that I've fought so far in this game, but... To be honest, I think I've, I've been having a much harder time with Lytena than any of the other monsters that I've fought so far in this game. Oh, oh. Alright, so I... Oh, it looks like once you block it, you can still continue moving inside the attack. Oh, block that! Perfect. Gives me an opportunity to do some more attacks on him. Man, if only he would just keep doing that and I just keep blocking and just continue spamming my attacks, I'd be okay this fight. Oh, I love being able to knock him down. I'm gonna use my ult here. Hopefully that did a good amount of damage. I really need damage right now, ASAP. And now a word from our sponsors. Don't you hate when your your weapon gets dull? Me too. And that's why I go with Poke Village brand whetstones. If it's not Poke Village, it's not whetstones. Kill me now, please. I did not know that those things actually explode. I I guess I, that that would have explained all the the explosion sounds I kept hearing, and I thought it was just his attacks landing. Oh boy, we are not doing well. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry guys. If I if I can't beat him in this round, I'll have to try him again another time. But oh my god, not only that, we're creeping up to the five minute mark. I gotta go back to zone one. I think I was letting my cockiness get the best of me for the most part. No, no, no! Oh, did I even land? Oh, did I even hit any of my Wyvern's fire on him? Oh, okay, I'm gonna see if this lands. Nope. Oh, wow. That was not good. So what you guys just saw there was Helix completely missing his ultimate attack. I almost have another one charged, but... Oh! <laughs> sure, let's let's add more onto my plate. 
if I manage- Oh! He's limping! He's limping! Let's finish him off! Okay, I don't care. I don't care. I know you guys hate seeing me use my full burst attack there. I managed to land him onto the ground so I wouldn't allow him to- I, I can't word right now. English is not working at the moment. What I managed to do there was prevent him from flying off to go rest or heal up in another zone. So I'm keeping him on here and I'm going to finish him off. Oh my goodness. We've got maybe... I'm guessing three minutes tops. And I'm missing everything! Welcome to Helix's wild whiffs, because I'm just whiffing every single attack that I'm doing! I guess the worst part is I am getting a little bit desperate here. My attacks are getting a little sloppy, but I, I don't have the time! All right, I got my ult ready. I'm gonna try to land it right here. Oh no, he's trying to live away! Yes! Oh yes! Oh my god! Never have I been this satisfied defeating a monster in Monster Hunter. Oh my god, that was so close. I, I can't even. I, I can't even kick it. Like I'm, I'm trying to kick it. I can't even hit its dead body. That's that's how bad my aim is right now. Oh, I'm just gonna carve you. Carve you so good. By the way, guys, I thought I'd mention... If you noticed, I'm just still carving consist uh, consistently. They added something new into this game where you can carve just by... Actually, you can continuously carve if there's still carves available on the monster. So you're not getting up and then going back down. It's actually really helpful, so... Ah, oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna go drink a very strong drink now. Alright, that wraps up another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed that fight. Oh my god, I'm gonna be feeling that one for a long time. That was not the most graceful battle, but at least we got it done. Next week, I want to show off more of Patch 2.0, and uh, I'm gonna be showing a lot of new monsters that have been added into the game, so the, the they're gonna be the story mode battles, I know it's not as exciting as watching some of the elite hunts, but at the same time, it allows me to showcase more of the game, so I hope you guys look forward to that. I, I, I recorded these battles already, the story mode fights, uh, using the gun lance, I know you guys wanna see some other weapons, I promise I will be getting more weapons unlocked, I really just need to get some better gear for those specific weapons, it's not the easiest thing to do in this game compared to other Monster Hunter titles. I wish you all happy hunting, and I'll see you all on the next level.